Today, we're going to look at how we teach key numeracy concepts at Cardonald Primary School. At Cardonald Primary School, the Glasgow Counts methodology is at the heart of teaching and learning. Their two key messages are the effective use of CPA to develop our children's conceptual understanding rather than procedural knowledge, and to teach a bank of strategies which will enable children to select an appropriate method that will help them solve problems effectively. The CPA approach incorporates three stages, concrete, pictorial and abstract, and children will go back and forth between each stage to ensure understanding has taken place. Looking at the first part of this approach, concrete, sometimes known as the doing stage, children will be encouraged to use a range of resources or materials such as dice, 10 frames, numicon, Dean's blocks and other concrete resources to help provide them with a solid visual aid to understanding. Concrete resources will be used by children from all stages, P1 to P7, regardless of ability, to help provide a firm foundation for future learning. At home, anything can be used as a concrete manipulative, from sweets to buttons, anything that children can touch, can hold and can count. The next stage in the model is the pictorial, sometimes known as the seeing stage. Children will be encouraged to draw a representation of the problem which will help them visualise, understand and ultimately solve the problem. Examples of pictorial representations could be drawing three apples, then another two apples to show the sum three add on two, or using a bar model to help them to identify which process they should be using, or using an open number line to help them calculate a variety of sums. Again, visual representations will be used by children from all stages, P1 to P7, regardless of ability, to continue to develop a deeper understanding of key maths concepts. At home, children should be encouraged to draw the problem they are trying to solve or use concepts applied in class such as number lines, arrays and sharing circles to help them solve problems. The final stage in this approach is the abstract stage. Once children have demonstrated a secure understanding of a concept, they will then move on to this abstract stage. This is the more traditional method of solving sums and the one most people are more familiar with such as the widely used method of house or chimney sums, horizontal sums, and equations. We will, however, encourage children to regularly go back to using concrete resources and drawing pictorial representations alongside these abstract sums to ensure concepts are reinforced and understood. At home, Children should be encouraged to show their understanding of a problem by demonstrating it using all three CPA methods, concrete, pictorial and abstract. This will ensure understanding has taken place. At Cardonald, we teach our children a variety of math strategies to help them solve different types of problems. They understand that the same strategy might not work for a different problem and are therefore encouraged to select the most effective strategy to solve each problem. We believe this develops responsibility and ownership in our children's learning and allows them to achieve success. Below, we have listed the most commonly used strategies at Cardonald and we have created how-to videos that explain each strategy in more detail. These can be accessed on our school website. This slide gives a list of tips that you can do with your child at home or in the car or when out shopping. Completing daily number sequences will help your child identify number patterns and relationships better, thus developing their number sense. Below are a list of websites that can be used to support your child and to help develop enjoyment in numbers. We hope this information will help you support your child at home. Thank you very much for listening.